So I just finished a call with a client of mine and I thought I'd talk to you about a small issue that I really had to emphasize for him and that, that is the difference between using objective words to describe your situation versus realizing the subjective nature of experience. So in this specific case, uh, my client was talking about how he wanted to do big things and he wanted to change his situation but he felt very um, complete, he felt very satisfied, he felt like he had everything that he needed. But the way he said it, he said, um, you know, I want to do things, I want to change, but the problem is I already have everything that I need. So what I did was explain to him the difference in subjectivity where when you say I have everything I need, you don't really pay attention that the situation is subjective and you simply perceive it as having everything that you need. So the way you want to properly structure the sentence is, I feel like I have everything I need. Now this might sound not important, but I'll explain why it's important. The reason it's important to learn how to emphasize things subjectively, either emphasize them objectively and be aware of them, or actually just emphasize them subjectively, is because Let's say that you have a guy who's a millionaire. Now a millionaire looks at my client and my client might say, I have everything I need. But the millionaire looks at him and he says, are you kidding me? You don't have a mansion. You don't have a million dollars. You don't have a fancy car. You don't have a beautiful wife. How can you say that you have everything you need? On the other hand, a homeless guy would look at him and he would say, oh my God, this guy has everything if I had what he has I would be so happy so in paying respect to the subjective nature of reality and that situation what happens is you give yourself flexibility and you're able to perceive the situation as very um, situational and changing when you say I have everything I need you create an absolute term and you know how much I'm against absolutes where you say, okay, this, this is a list of things I need and I have them so there's no point in doing anything. This is a closed-minded concept and then you won't have any motivation. But if you learn how to praise things like that and say, I feel contempt, I feel like I have everything I need, now that gives the, the subjectivity of it, gives you room to maneuver and say, okay, maybe I feel like I have everything I need but clearly I don't because I'm discussing this and I, I feel like I want to change something. So maybe I don't have everything I need. Maybe what I need, what I truly need to feel I have everything I need and not think about it is more. So dealing with subjective reality like that, again, gives you lots of flexibility and allows you to appreciate how every moment is passing and it sort of makes the 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 different polarities of good bad um poor rich uh you know tragic amazing it sort of blurs the lines and you learn how a good experience could lead to bad things and a bad experience could lead to good things where everything sort of combines so again from now on whenever you refer to things let's say you're angry don't say i'm angry say i'm feeling angry right now or whether you feel contempt with your life, say, I'm feeling contempt right now. Again, this is a situational truth, not an absolute truth. Again, peace. And if you like the video, feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And I'll see you soon.